We're going to try and make some progress based on last night's stream. Let's see how badly though we are actually getting back to where we was uh, last night. This is the final screen, I believe. It's a great start. So yeah, final screen. Hype. And um, I would like to think we've, we're over halfway there when we can pull it all together. Just need to get my eye in a little bit here. So far, so good. That's uh, that's promising. That's very good. I'm happy with that start. Straight onto this wind section, which is a absolute nightmare. Ooh, all right. All right, we're up to the PB section. This is where we got to last night. <coughs> It's a fantastic start. I just don't know how to get past that. So we've equaled our PB basically from last night within the space of two minutes, which is positive. It's where we go from here. Because what I didn't check is have we got a dash? Or can we save a dash at all? Those dashing would help. Ah. I thought, like, yay, we did the thing with the thing. And now. I'm not going to be able to do the thing with the thing anymore. <laughs> oh, same old, same old problems. Consistency on the early parts starts to falter. I should probably just give up at that point if that happens. Trying to recover that is not the easiest things to do. Alright, so I can keep a dash if I need to. That's the best timing. I've hit that a couple of times. Alright, we're here again. He called the PB. I think what I gotta do is like when I get to that one, I think I, I, I need to employ the dash somehow, but I don't know how at the minute. That's the 
thing, isn't it? That's why being able to employ it, but... Where am I employing it to? Is employee even the right word? I'm thinking about it. I don't know if it's the right word to use. Apply? Possibly be a better word. I've said before that it's quite, I was saying last night, it's quite frustrating that top area because we can't see what's ahead. It's all literally, we've got to learn that entire section as we go because the periscope doesn't, the periscope doesn't allow us to move up. So we can only see what's left and right. Dash. I need the dash and screwed because I lost it. We did it, PB'd. Okay. No! Why did I let go? Alright, that fish is actually a lot easier than I thought it was. I just need to keep Madeline away from the trigger area, and then everything's fine. So, okay, that's not as bad as I thought. That's good. This way, please. Thank you. Much appreciated. That's not, though. Again, though. I should learn from what I said before, and I should just give up if I get to that point, because there is no... There's no salvage in that. Once that uh, fish goes off the screen. I probably could salvage it, but it would be freaking difficult. True to form. We make progress. We get the furthest we've ever done on this screen. And then consistency comes and bites us in the ass, and we can't even do the first bit again. Damn it.
There we go. Oh, that was mighty close. That wasn't close enough. There we go. So we got the dash. Maybe we keep the dash this time. Oh my god. Okay. I've got to throw the jellyfish to hit the button. Throw the jellyfish. That fish section there, like on the, the updraft section, is kind of reminds me of kind of like uh, mines on a freaking, like you'd be underwater, trying to avo avoid mines in a boat or a submarine or something. It's pretty much what it is. Oh, that's so sketchy. That, that part is so sketchy because you have so much speed. 
you've really got to concentrate to stay out of the out of the electric on the right there as you approach it. Trying to make the most of that situation which kind of went tits up. And I probably shouldn't have done. It's annoying that I'm struggling with these simple bits now. Always the case. I was trying to compensate there. I was trying to compensate the fact that I was going too far to the right and was going to miss the spring. Sometimes I probably just need to slow myself down a bit and just, as ironic as it sounds in Celeste, take my time. Normally Celeste levels are about just doing it as quickly and like as you can without having to take your time. But you hit situations like this, unfortunately, where. You get confidence, you start to rush through screens. Okay. Of course. I mean, like this stuff here I shouldn't really be struggling with at all because it's just like basic jellyfish stuff that we were taught right at the beginning of chapter 9. So I really shouldn't be struggling with this. Third time in a row I've done that now and I've got to that point. Easy. Easy. No.
I lost sight of what I was doing there. Freaking jellyfish. This is some mighty confidence now. Sorry, right, guys. Hopefully, that won't disrupt my rhythm. Through this section. Easy. How am I meant to do that, though? Question. Maybe I go up there first with the jellyfish. Can just throw it.
Why did I... Th I let go of that thinking I'd already got a dash crystal for some reason. What I'm thinking is, do I float all the way to the top to where the button is and then let go of the jelly? Interesting thought. Ah, I went too back. back. I went back out too far to the left. Dash too quickly. There's something about that strap that I'm just completely not prepared for when I get to it. was further along than I actually was there for some reason. Completely my fault. I thought I was on the next section which is why I like hastily dropped the jellyfish. I need to soon realise that I actually wasn't there and I needed to grab it again. I've worked out with that that the best thing to sort of do is to um, rush for a start and then once you've cleared like the danger point where you can hit the electric still it's best just to um, let the natural progression of the level take you to where you need to be because it naturally takes you to the right spot so Timing wasn't what I wanted, and that's why I was trying to hold off there. That's how we save that, boys. possible to save that. 
but it's not an easy strat to do. Little myth there as to why I didn't dash up diagonal. But I did the same thing again! Oh man. Like I told you last night, Eddie, we ain't skipping nothing with no assist mode. <laughs> How you doing there, buddy? Welcome along to stream. Just a short one today, my lunch hour. Throw back to the olden streaming times. We used to stream every day in our lunch hour. That's the pattern I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so the decision is we're going to go to the top. No! Why did you touch the ledge? Give me that retry bird any day of the week. Right now. I really do need to go back to Ice Palace though. I just, when I was playing it, I was not in a good place in my head like for puzzles. And I don't know, I kind of didn't really enjoy it, found it very hard. I mean, I'm not saying it's not hard, but I just wasn't in the right mindset for the puzzles, I don't think. Thank you. Have you finished the have you finished the ice palace yet? Eddie? Uh, 
I mean, I like I like a puzzle and I like a good puzzle, but sometimes I can just get so burnt out on playing puzzles and doing stuff that. All right, so I'm gonna try this. I think I missed. <laughs> I wonder if throwing it against that block will is what I need to do. There's a block in the electric. Why did you grab that, Madeline? I didn't tell you to grab until after I dashed. Yet you grabbed it before I dashed. No wonder Granny left you, you disobedient girl. I don't know, I, I, what I haven't tried and I really don't want to try it because it's got to go back is whether or not the jellyfish can touch those stars or not. I really don't want to test it to be fair. Alright, so we're back. If I throw it to there... Okay, I think that's the thing to do. Okay. No, I need to go get the feather. All right. Progress. Oh no, I did a die die. <laughs> That's good progress though. Two new PBs on the screen today alone in within the space of 40 minutes, so. Oh, that was close, but very close. Okay. Ah, oh, may have been too much. Oh, how the hell did I pull that off? I'm not quite sure.
The Apple Watch says it's time to stand up. Knock, however, does not. That gliding strat that I used there is so much better than what I was doing before. So much more consistent. Pretty much hitting that spring every time now. I've got to just find and decide what the perfect place to release this uh, jellyfish is up here. I mean, it travels up a bit, so... I, when I said it travels up, I did not expect it to just go straight up vertically. I was going way too quickly there for my own good. It's a problem sometimes. Once you start getting confident, you start going faster. And then mistakes creep in. Like that. Not doing a diagonal. It's a silly mistake. Yo! Errand, my man. How's it going? Yeah, Claire's it. Check. Person. Welcome to hell. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Pretty good. Desperate, though, to get this freaking thing done. After spending so much time on it. Ready to put this to bed. This is the final screen, I believe. I freaking hope so, anyway. But yeah, dialogue in game has eluded me, and the size of the screen has made me allude to the fact that this is the final screen, so... It ain't an easy one, let me tell you. Have you uh, done any more work on your game, errand? Or working on anything like other games at the minute? Yeah. So I'm not holding diagonal. I 
And also, to throw a question back at you what uh, that you threw to me yesterday. Next Aaron DJ stream when? Uh, I was holding. I was holding grab. <laughs> Apple iOS 13 is apparently Google and Facebook's worst nightmare. So my emails are telling me. Does that mean they're changing loads of stuff in the way that the framework works? Interesting. Yeah, I'll join in, don't worry. Oh, it's um, some of the code insights I get. I get industry news. What am I in the stream? In about 10 minutes. for that buddy I'm up for that if you are keep me entertained for the afternoon ahead No worries, will do. Go get some of them tasty Anna cookies. That's what I was doing last night at that point. That was a good recovery though. Jeez. I used to have cookies. Then I ate them. The end. I used to have cookies. Then I ate them. Then I got fat. The end. <laughs> My life story right there. You want the cookies? You can't handle the cookies! I don't know. This game has like absolutely fried my, my brain. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <sighs> my thumb's starting to hurt though. Weirdly, it's not even my thumb that I'm using to like control the directions. It's my other thumb that does dashing and jumping. Which is a bit odd. But. Alright, so that's 
just reassured me that the jellyfish can go through the spikes and it won't get destroyed. So that's, a, that's good to learn. Good to know. Another tip. Another thing learned right there. All right. Can we get this throw off, please? Uh, PS4. I think it's gone too far again. I was too high. <sighs> Alright. I've probably got enough time for like one or two more attempts at this if I can get through to it. Down a minute, errand. I'm sure I'll die any moment now. Uh, you have a game on PS4. I think it was Soma. Yes, I have loads of games on PS4. Um, I will get around to streaming more stuff soon. I promise. I need to check that I can still stream on my PS4, like to my computer as well, using remote play. Seeing as Knock had a capture card and then he sold his capture card because he never used his capture card, and then when he moved house, he really wanted a capture card, so. I got so many games right now that's like to play. like this month's um, I've just seen the games that are coming out for next month's PS Plus membership and like Last of Us is on there and my god I would really want to play Last of Us it's an amazing game had so many good things about that so but as always all these games to play not enough time to stream them all Please get to the end. Whew, just. I like S. Uh, not following you, yeah, Eddie. I've never really been into card games. <laughs> okay, I get you now. <laughs> oh my god. Can't read that right now, Aaron. But if you're saying you're going to go, then I will catch you real soon. I'll let you know when I'm done. I uh, go with dog to stream. All right, I'll drop you a message, my man. time here. So it's another hour gone on this DLC, but we have learnt more yet again. And we have made more progress again, so things are looking positive. 
Things are looking very positive right now. Oh man, that was I was that high on that screen. I almost hit the freaking corner there. That's insane. Alright, stay away from the puffers. Alright, gotta get this throw down. No! You know, I said last, last, last attempt. This will be the last attempt. It's almost like there's like a slowdown trigger there that just like purposely slows Madeline down so that you hit that spring. It's really weird. Alright, we're going to have to leave it there. So, um, yeah, YouTube. I'll probably continue this video tomorrow on YouTube, so I'll see you in a minute. Guys, everybody on Twitch, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. We're back tomorrow. We'll try and do it a little bit more tomorrow, see if we can make a bit more progress. But until then, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. See ya. Yo, guys, we are back for another part of... <sighs> Final screen, Celeste. So, just as a bit of an update for you guys, um, I've been practicing a little bit off camera, and I'm starting to get, starting to get a consistent strat on that button, in the jellyfish throw that we was uh, finishing up on yesterday and struggling with so much. So. Um, I actually made it three times in a row earlier on today when I was practicing. So that's positive, right? So hopefully, you know, we can keep up that consistency. We can hit that puffer fish in the next section in the right way. And we can actually PB today. Dare I even say it, finish it off. I don't want to get ahead of myself too much, but um, it might happen, guys. It might happen. All right. Let's see then. If the consistency I practiced pays off. So, what I was doing was going over here a little bit, coming down, and throwing. And every time it bounced off there, I hit it. This time, <sighs> sod's law, it didn't hit. Alright, but that was good. It was good to get that throw actually throw the jellyfish in the right direction. Why is it? Every time you like do something where you really need to concentrate and use both hands, you start getting itches. Right, well. I screwed that up, so. Bought me a bit of time just to de-itch myself. That didn't really help. I'm still getting itchy on my face. Oh, man. Let's 
Anyway, how are we all doing today? Hope we're all well. We're at Thursday. Almost the end of the week, guys, which is great. It's fair, the weeks, this week especially, I don't know. Weeks seem to go really quickly now. This must be a thing of like getting older and stuff. But this week especially has gone really quick. Especially at work. Two sets, guys. Alright, guys, sorry about that. We are back. And we soldier on. You know what I was saying? Yeah, this week, I don't know, this week seems to have gone like crazy quick. I don't know why. Maybe I've been really busy. I've been learning some new stuff this week, and I always find when I'm got my head in like books and on the internet looking, researching stuff, that time seems to go quicker. So. Dabbing with the idea of like going, I did try it a few times, like going in the same time as the fish rather than delaying the um, rather than delaying my um, like launch over to that spring. Chances the, the problem I had is I was constantly finding it worked a few times, and I was constantly finding I was just, just really too high. On the um, second spring, which was causing me to go into the electric every time, so yeah, that wasn't. I soon stopped doing that strategy. Right, take number two. I caught the edge. But yeah, yesterday I was struggling, like, just generally getting that jellyfish to go in the direction I wanted it to, but I realised if I just let go of grab, Madeline naturally kind of throws it in a upwards right di di direction if I'm facing the right. So, as long as I don't press, like, any other keys or anything like the time of throwing, um, actually works pretty well. It's just about finding that... Um, that extra, or that position, that sweet spot. Oh, okay. I was, I was pushing my luck there. That's my own fault. I was holding up. Going quick, far too, far too, a lot quicker than I should have been. So, <coughs> excuse me, completely my fault. some serious air time.
It's the problem with this level being so long, though, you do try and rush the relatively easy parts. And then it comes to bite you in the bum. Third time lucky. Bounced up. Yes. All right. Well, that's a PB right there. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Some weird spring stuff going on here. We PB'd. Just. See if we can equal that PB or better it even. We have a bot. How did I? I wasn't. Didn't feel like I was holding grab. starts a sentence with uh, I've just checked out your channel the alarm bells start ringing boys not gonna lie thing I've always prided myself on as well is actually I've done all my own like channel designs and stuff so unless it was not really something I'd really want to do unless I went Billy big time 
then I might pay somebody to do some designing, but everybody knows the ethos of this channel. We're playing to have fun. Ah, oh, press dash too early. Grab too early. My phone on my watch. There we go. Who was that? No more Celeste for me? What are you talking about, Aegis? <laughs> Ooh, that's hairy. It's hairy like a grizzly bear. Oh, it's too close. I can't stop! <laughs> Alright. Ah! lined up to hit it and then I adjusted myself at the last minute. I'll tell you why I adjust myself. So you've got to be careful not to hit the electric at the top when you do the bounce up so with the um, jellyfish. Oh, I think I need to keep my dash. Oh, it doesn't matter here, does it? It'd be more on the f feather. So hold on. I was just thinking about like the bit that we got to after the feather, thinking I need a dash, but um, I don't think I do. I don't need to keep it, is what I mean, because so I'm going to, I use my dashes before the feather section between here and there, so yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get down here again. An equal or better RPB. Looking good. That's what I was struggling with before, like the timing and the positioning of hitting that yesterday. I don't know why I keep doing that, because it's 
It's so difficult to come back from that. Just a waste of time. Man, we are ripping through this early section now. On this run, at least. Oh, yeah. It's fractionally too early. Sometimes you just know the minute it leaves your hand that something isn't going to go right. That was one of those instances. I did it before and I went for the correction and the, I, was, I actually got through it and the correction was too much. That ain't gonna help. Very fine line, and I'm not treading it very well at the moment. It's got nothing to do with rushing either. It's just getting getting too complacent and trying to almost cut corners. trying to cut corners and go as fast as I can and just need to take my time or else I'm never going to get consistent at this next bit that I really need to get consistent at because I'm never going to make it up there. You can get really close to these walls, like dangerously close. We've got plenty of room there, we don't even have to get anywhere near it, to be honest. Alright. Did 
Did that bounce off too much? Yes, it did. sooner, but they have. Alright. Come on! Knock it. That's the best sort of timing. Oh, I didn't get low enough. my um for the most part my jellyfish control has got a lot better than when we was doing that stupid get the key section Oh, you... Do you know what, though? I think I threw that too hard. It had far too much pace on it. I think it would have just... It, I don't think it would have hit. In short, is what I'm trying to say. Scary. That was terrible. Didn't do a diagonal. <sighs> Rip me.
That can be quite, that can be quite tricky, that section, because you're trying to judge where... If you don't time it right and you've got to kind of like delay your dash, you've got to try and judge where the jellyfish is going to end up. It's not the easiest of things to do. Well, that's mighty close again. Oh dear. It annoys me because off camera, literally before I started streaming, I hit it three times on the bounce. No problem. salvage that if I'd have yeah that's what makes that bit so like tricky because you're kind of trying to compensate going too far to the right because you don't want to miss the spring at the same time, the minute you hit the spring, you have to make sure you're not too far left so that you don't hit that little bit of electric block that's sticking out. It's kind of like a fine line. Excuse me? I know for a fact that I've made that from lower positions than that. Could Madeline please explain to me why I didn't make that that time? chances this time. I think I was look when I was looking at my save file when I started up the game earlier, I'm finally breaking into freaking eighty hours on my main file. Which is insane. Alright, come on knock. Do the thing, come on. Thank you. PB. in the final section that was it the final section on our way to the electric block I 
<laughs> oh, I can't even do the first bit. Maybe coffee will help. That's not going to help though, is it? Because I don't have the freaking... Oh dear. Come on, let's focus. Yes, we made progress. Let's not let it go to our heads, please. We need to hit that consistently. Did you see how close that was? That was hair-raisingly close. Ooh. No, I must have been holding up. I was too close to the wall. Oh my goodness. Like I said earlier on, though, you, you seem to be able to get really close to these electric walls, and then you have moments like that where you think you're going to hit the wall, you try and compensate. Actually, you didn't hit the wall, but because you've compensated too much, that's a good save, um, you can't salvage it. Can't salvage you to overcompensation. Oh my goodness, look at the speed. Not a good thing, but look at the speed. This is the thing that's now letting me back. I don't know how to get consistent at it. But like I said earlier, frustratingly, I did it three times on the bounce. Off camera.
One good thing that's come out of this though, my consistency of my wave dashing. Before chapter 9, I never really wave dash properly. So although I've got a time on the board for speedrun for this uh, for Celeste, I won't really say I know the movement tech. But it'll be interesting to see now, next time I do a run, which I need to do because my PB on speedrun is outdated. Um, yeah, be interesting to see how much quicker I can go through sections, um, possibly by using wave dashing. Oh my goodness, how did I get through that? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. That was scary stuff though. See, I think doing that Alright, so what I think there, I'm probably throwing it at the right time, but I'm too close to the wall. So let's see, try going a bit further away from the wall. managed to pull that off. I have no idea. Right, so not as far to the wall, not as close to the wall. Maybe that. Yes, all right. Man, I remember when that that uh, jellyfish throw there was a problem for us because we wasn't getting enough height. How times have changed. Yeah, this one here, we wasn't getting enough height on the jellyfish and we was like constantly bopping our feet on that electric field on the floor. Now we're nowhere near it. Now we just make other mistakes. Really do a diagonal there. Oh my goodness, how did that was too much speed? It was too much speed for me to handle. I 
think when I get that much height, I could probably skip out that middle jellyfish, but... I don't want to do it just in case. Definitely need to get more height on that. So BK, yeah, I'm out again. We are so close though. We are so tantalizingly close to the end of this now. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, no. It's the same level. <laughs> it's the same level you was watching me on uh, Tuesday night, my man. But we are literally, today we have PB'd into like the very last section of that screen. It's just that um, I've got better at the early stage of the screen, so we're actually progressing later. So you're seeing a lot, um, shit, missed that. You're seeing like uh, bits that you wouldn't have seen the other night. I'm getting a lot, but I'm a lot better at it though than when I was playing the other night for sure. But you know, that's what you get when you probably put I probably put about four and a bit hours, maybe five, into this screen right now. It's crazy. Ugh. Yeah, for sure. This is th this trick coming up here, though. There's something I have to do here, and this is where I'm kind of lacking consistency at the minute. But I have to do this to kind of get to the final section. So please go straight up. Please hit the button. Basically, you can't see the button, and that jellyfish has got to hit the button to open that block there, which is. A little bit harsh, but... Alright, come on, Nock. Take your time. Take your time. That wasn't taking your time. Why... Why did I hit that spring? I should not have hit that spring. Ooh. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> If you can't think of anything to say, just make noises. It's fine. I've got left about 15 minutes. Thanks, buddy. That's one thing I just love about this. No matter how much time I spend on a screen or however many hours it takes me to work something out, once you put it all together in a single run, it looks fantastic. It's so technical, the stuff that you do. It's just like a real joy to watch. Oh, shit. And that game's had that all the way through it. I mean, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea because it does take a lot of... a lot of practice to uh, get good and be able to do stuff. Oh, why did I do that? But, uh, yeah. The movement take, the movement take, the movement tech in the game just make things look so cool. My feet not touched up there. Aye. Yes. 
All right, we're getting better at that now. That's good. Okay. I could probably avoid one of them springs because I've got the dash, so... Overcompensation. I just saw a uh, post pop up from you on the uh, the Discord about 10-15 minutes ago, Beak. Was that, uh, uh, was that F2 registrations for the weekend? Yeah, it's a little bit too late on that, but, um, unfortunately. Why did I go down? It's like I can pretty much live with everything else in this level, but that one thing is a bit. Though it feels a bit cheese because you can't see where it's going, and it's really hard for me. Well, really hard. It seems to find a consistent strat to hit it every time. Oh, 
No, maybe it's just me. Me being me. Moaning. Because I suck. This is more just about taking my time. I just dashed up there. Manlin's head just got uh, well and truly electrocuted there. That's a lot better strat, that one. Alright. Final part of the screen. Come on. <sighs> Literally. that go across so we're hitting that one we're getting this one we go around we hit the puffer fish we need to hold yeah we i can't check the top section but i'm i can check the horizontal stuff um you don't get that on every level beaker so but it, yeah it's, it's, it's a big help so to hit this puffer fish hold my dash until i get the jellyfish gets disintegrated dash into that jellyfish disintegrate it get my dash back dash into that one Oh my god, that last section is crazy. We're almost there though, literally. We need to make it to that box. We are so close now. We are literally like four moves away now from doing this. Of course, the annoyance is you can't just practice a single section. You have to do the freaking whole level to get there to even practice in the first place. But... The spring strat definitely worked better. Instead of trying to go for that far left spring uh, before that whole section, I just used my dash and used the spring on the right instead, and it worked so much better. Come on. This would be really nice if I could finish this before I have to go back to work in, like, about five, ten minutes time. But now, I can't even string together these first freaking fish.
<laughs> I'll try not to, Vika. No promises. <laughs> Man, I haven't like caught my feet on that electric bar for ages. Oh, I didn't dash. What a muppet. What an absolute muppet. Just it's a bit squeaky bum. you see how close Madeline's hair was there? It's like hitting that electric beam. It's 
creature up ahead doesn't have collision. Oh, I knew I was... I knew the minute I let go of that. I wasn't going to re-grab it because I was holding straight up and not the direction. And then we're going to have to call it, unfortunately. Harry, a lot of those to today's stream. Much better strap. <sighs> Should have dashed up. No! Alright, last attempt. That was almost death and loss of jellyfish, but I managed to save it both. Gotta call it there, but we are so tantalizingly close to finishing this screen. We have literally got like four more sections, like four more jellyfish sections um, that we need to work out. And I think a lot of it is just letting the jellyfish drift into the field to disintegrate and then dashing away from the from um, 
sorry, once I let go. So tomorrow could be the day, people. I'm hoping tomorrow is the day. I feel like I'm getting a lot more consistent throwing that jellyfish for that button now. Um, so I'm happy with that. But um, yeah, guys, if you're on YouTube, the video will continue shortly. Um, everybody on Twitch, though, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate the support. We'll be back tomorrow for one more lunchtime stream, which will hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get to the end of this chapter nine screen. But thank you very much. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya. Oh, guys! I think, I think we're there. No! Whew. Say goodbye to her for me. done it Granny! hey there kiddo it's so great to see you I didn't know what to do without you but you aren't real this is just a dream so what? That didn't stop you from coming all this way. You finally found me, and now you care that it's, that it's just a dream? Quit making excuses and say what you need to say. 
I'm sorry that I didn't come to your funeral. I couldn't do it. I just shut down. Heh, <laughs> that sounds familiar. Hey, what do I care who showed up to that thing? I'm dead. Funerals are for all you suckers still living without me. Thank you for looking out for me on the mountain. You helped me so much and I really miss you. What am I supposed to do now? Just keep going like nothing happened? Like you aren't gone forever? That's it. Achievement unlocked. Oh wow. An actual cutscene. Hey, it's Theo! There she is. Long time no see, Strawberry. Hey, Theo. Theo, sorry. It's been forever. You went off the grid. What happened to you? Yeah, sorry for not responding to your messages or answering your calls. Or replying to your emails. I kind of had a breakdown when Granny died. And then I felt well, weird messaging you. I thought maybe you were mad at me for disappearing. It snowballed from there. Yeah, yeah, I know you. I figured the funeral might trigger your anxiety. NBD. I don't know what NBD is. Uh, next time, at least let me know where you. At least let me know you're still alive. You feeling any better? Yeah, I finally started to come to terms with it. When I first met Granny, I thought she was crazy, but then I got to know her, and I thought she was mean, but <laughs> she knew what I needed to hear, and she really helped me. I missed her a lot. Yeah, me too. I honestly thought she'd live forever. Oh, that reminds me. I have to show you something. Oh. Remember how I told you my grandpa went to Celeste Mountain when he was younger? Well, I was going through some old stuff with Alex. And check out this photo I found. Do you reckon that's Granny? Is that Granny? With your grandpa? Theo, that's amazing. It looks like they were friends. Probably more than just like friends. Just like us. It really sucks that they're gone. But it's nice to know that, that we shared the mountain with them. Yeah, that is nice. I had to turn the volume right down there because I didn't know if I was going to miss anything. I might have to watch that bit back. Oh my goodness, would you look at this. Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> Did I really get that many deaths? Well guys, that's going to bring our Celeste journey to an end. That's um, how much time we spent on Farewell. It doesn't tell us because we didn't do it. Um, we didn't do it all the way through. Oh boy. But we got the bird. Now I do know, I do know for a fact that um, there is... Um, a moonberry of some description to get. I may try and get that um, and do a video. I may not. We'll see. But um, if I do, there'll be that. If not, thank you very much for watching. Celeste has been an absolutely amazing journey. I've really enjoyed it. And um, I've got the um, excitement to look forward to that... Um, one of our respected Portal 2 map makers is uh, working on a Celeste map right now. So, um, hey, we might have some Celeste community maps, fan-made maps, um, at some point as well. But, um, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I really appreciate the support. 
If you're not already, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate the support. Um, and I'm grateful for everybody that supports uh, all my uh, streaming and videos. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.